because I love customer service. I mean, that, that's why I manage a coffee shop. I work with people every single day. Um, property management, you bet people are calling me every week wanting me to fix their toilets. <laughs>
um, other buyers and we can reach out to people and that's something that I've really found um, people don't have time to get in get into all of the legalities behind it all um, and a lot of times you end up losing out on a lot of money um, because you don't maybe know how the process works, which is totally fine because it's not your everyday job. You know, you're selling your one home, um, but it's really important to know someone that is a professional in all of this stuff. There has never been a time where hiring a professional hasn't been a good idea. I hire a professional for my taxes. I don't deal with my taxes every single day. So I'm gonna hire someone that deals with it every day and understands how it works so they can save me the most money. And that's what real estate agents do too. Um, so um, so anyways, I'll, I'll link that down there. Um, on, uh, and, and actually, um, Dave Ramsey, who is a huge um, financial coach, he actually endorses realtors. And I think, I think the guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to finances and do real estate agents cost money? Yes, every, every professional will cost you money, but in the long run, you are saving yourself so much money by hiring someone that knows what they're doing. So anyways, af after, after that, just the decision of hiring a realtor, what do you do after that? So I would say um, buyers, this is, um, this is more marketed towards sellers because for buyers, it is such a good idea to um, hire a realtor because essentially it is free for you. Our commission comes out of the seller's um, pocket, really. Um, that's, it, it comes out of the purchase price of the home. So buyers, it's not a hard choice to choose one. First of all, they're gonna be able to open doors for you. They have access to everything in the MLS, the multiple listing services. So they, you might see three homes on Zillow and we have 12 times as many homes on our MLS service that you don't even see on Zillow. So, um, so anyways, buyers, it's really not a hard option. For sellers, it can be a little scary because you tell yourself, I can do this on my own. Um, I can make this work. Um, I remember the first time I reached out to a for sale by owner. Um, I was nervous, but I did know them. And they kept saying, um, no, I, I think we got this. Um, we just listed it. We're gonna try to do it on our own. And I was, uh, I totally respected that. I just gave her a couple facts and I said, you know, if you'd like me to do a comparative market analysis on it, which is just showing you what your home is worth, I would absolutely love to do that. Um, I brought, I, I did bring it to them and they ended up hiring me. Um, because after learning some of the facts about the things you actually have to do to sell your home, it is, a little scary <laughs> and a little stressful and for me getting into this and working with sellers one of my one of my big things was I want to make your situation as I want you to feel as comfortable and confident as you possibly can so I I always that's what I always tell my clients is throughout this whole transaction, I mean, this is the biggest transaction you're ever gonna make in your life. So it's a really scary thing, you know, handing that over into someone else's hands. Um, it's, it's really scary not knowing what's going on. Um, it's a lot of money to be dealing with um, most of the time. And um, people get very stressed. And my job, um, and this is something that I have stuck by since I began, is my job for you is to make you feel comfortable and confident through every part of the transaction. So, so sellers, when you're interviewing um, agents, which you absolutely should, you should meet with every agent that you can and you, um, and you just need to talk to them, ask them questions, ask them questions about how they market, how they get your house out there, 
um, because the different brokers that you're working with, they go about things totally different. Um, and so they'll, they'll tell you about how their brokerage um, markets things. Um, you need to talk with them about how many clients they have because sometimes you get people that are working with 30 clients at a time, active um, at a time, 30 transactions maybe, or maybe even 10 tra transactions going at once. That is a big load. And apart from their personal life, which they don't have a lot of time in, they also have um, they also have so many other transactions that they're dealing with. So you need to talk about with them about how many active transactions they have because they need to make time for you, and you need to make sure that they do have time for you um, because this is an important transaction, and it is um, it is something that I don't think. Um, you, I, I think you always need to communicate. I think um, I don't think you should be waiting a day to call back. I think everyone, um, you need to be on call for people that are trusting you with this transaction. So ask them questions like that and really vet your agents. Um, I, I just, I've been really lucky working with the sellers and buyers that I have and um, I am, I'm just so thankful because they've been wonderful. It is such a scary time for them because for buyers, you know, that's your money going away. For sellers, you want to get the most money that you can out of your home that you've lived in maybe for 30 years or or 15 years. I mean, you get very sentimental about it and it's a lot more than just you know, a little bit of money to you. Um, you want your home to go to someone that is going to take care of it. So, um, so I just, I just always recommend um, working with an agent and vetting your agent. And um, there's, there's tons of questions everywhere that you can ask them. But, um, anyways, for now, that is all. Uh, again, my name is Faith Roy, and I am with Century Twenty One Price Right. And I'm so happy that we got to talk about this. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments or get a hold of me. All of my contact information is there. Um, I just love talking about all of this, uh, every side of this real estate business to you, and I can't wait to dive in more. First week down, many more to go. This is Real Talk, Real Results with Roy. Thank you and have a great rest of your week.